I'm back home now after being on holiday for two weeks and making progress on the trim pieces. So I've got quite a few done already. Uh, these large pieces take quite a few coats, of course. So um, I think I've used about 10 rattle cans so far, um, mostly primer and then some of the frosted top coat. These pieces are done, uh, ready to go on. You can see they have the frosted top coat, that sort of satin sheen finish. Um, this piece is the front cowl, which goes um, at the top of the bonnet and just below the windscreen. And these are the holes where the uh, washer jets come out. So this is right against the windscreen. And it has this grill, um, which I thought if I painted this white, it would be um, a bit of a bastard to keep clean. So um, what I did is, this is the blue can, which I had uh, to make the new wire mesh piece. Um, and it turns out that this blue is a pretty good match for the body, which is lucky, because um, I just did it by guess, um, going by the samples in the shop. So I painted the grill part uh, blue, sprayed the grill part blue, and then the top piece is white. Um, so it won't be so obvious you know, when the dirt's on this piece, because it does get a little bit mucky. Um, so that came out quite nice. And now I'm just carrying on, uh, painting a few more pieces. Uh, tonight and some more tomorrow. I've already put the handles on the car. So some pieces are going back on. And I'll finish some more tonight and then update again tomorrow. So this is how far I managed to get in one weekend uh, working on all the trim pieces. This uh, windscreen cowl is complete. I just need to bolt on uh, the two wiper arms. They just bolt onto here. Um, so this is looking nice and bright and white, very clean. You can see all the lines are nice and clean. Uh, quite a few hours went into these two pieces uh, on their own. They were sanded smooth, took some chips out of them uh, with putty and repaired them all. So they're looking really good now. And on the bonnet side cowl, uh, this is the grill, which I showed yesterday, which is uh, painted blue. Let me get a light and I'll lift it up, hang on. Okay. So you can see the grill part is blue. Um, and then the top of the cowl is white. And that's because this grill, if it was white, it's, it's going to collect a lot of dust and uh, grit. and it's just going to look terrible if it was white, so that's why I made it blue. Um, so this kind of, this level of attention to detail, you know, is something that you'll never get uh, from a paid for job. You'll only get this from DIY jobs. Uh, for, you know, just these two cowl pieces, you know, we're looking at a good six, seven hours work. Um, <clears throat> It was even an hour and a half just for this seal. So <clears throat> this is the original seal and it was all kind of brown and grimy. So I peeled it all off carefully and it's got this groove which runs along the inside which kind of grips over this piece. And <clears throat> I scraped out all the glue carefully, then cleaned all the rubber, um, got some fresh automotive tape to bond it back to uh, the cow, and uh, it's basically like you know very thin bubble-sided tape, and you know you get different grades and thicknesses depending upon how strong you need it. So this is a very mild one just to hold the rubber in place. Um, but the end result is this seal. If you can see all the way down, uh, it's looking like brand new, nice and clean. Uh, it's meant to end on both sides just here, that's the, that's the proper length. 
and that's for water drainage because water drainage actually goes down here and it runs down a channel here and drains out the bottom of the car. So <clears throat> that's fitted nicely. Again, on the bonnet side cowl, it had a seal um, on the underside of it, which I peeled all this glue off carefully. It's kind of like a sponge. If you look, it compresses. And then let me get a light again. I'll show that part. So put the light, you can see. Yeah. Go and get into place. Not coming up, but there we go. You can see it's kind of like a sponge. Um, so I took that off because that was all in pieces and it had, it had massive gaps. You know, there was, you could see like light through it, and then this was always a bit wobbly and you know, loose. Um, and dirt used to collect inside it a lot. So I got the same thickness um, of soft foam on like a big sheet, and I cut it into strips and then carefully put it all the way around this edge again and created exactly the same type of seal. Uh, so now it's like new. This piece no longer goes up and down against the bonnet because it's all a uniform height. Um, it also means that this is now, has the proper tension um, because this was a bit loose and this was, this was, it would actually flap up and down before because there's nothing holding this part in. The first clip is here. So this used to flap around a bit on both sides, but now this is nice and tight, this piece. Um, it's all like new again. So again, <clears throat> um, you know, it takes a lot of patience and attention to detail. Uh, I don't know, six, seven hours for the two pieces, I guess, in total, including everything done. You can see the washer jets are refitted. Um, but it's looking really, really good now. This looks like brand new. Um, better than new, actually. So. Those are finished. <coughs> uh, I finished the handles I showed you yesterday on this side and the white running strip I've put back on. So this white running strip uh, goes along the length of the car. So previously, you know, this was brown and this was, this was grey, but now it's got the white line running on the top. And then from uh, Wish, that Chinese website, I found these decals. So I ordered those. It was two for uh, 1400 yen so I'm going to fit them uh, just at the lower door and the front passenger and front driver door on the other side um, so they kind of complete the look a little bit tricky on these because there's a natural uh, curvature um, in the door here you know, it curves right in and comes out again so I couldn't put it here because you, you wouldn't be able to see it and then I had to make a compromise between where it was on the curvature to the height, which means that from some, ang some angles it's got like a little bit of a, you know, like a little bit of a fisheye thing going on as it bends with the body. Um, but it's the best, best compromise I could come up with for positioning. So that looks quite nice. <clears throat> it all blends in nicely with the same colour scheme. And then <clears throat> on the rear of the car, I've still got to put the light clusters in, that's quick, that's the last thing to do. I fitted this piece, uh, which houses the handle and the two down lights uh, for the number plate. So I'll show you here. So you can see these two uh, lights here. They were sprayed in the, in the uh, same blue as the front of the cowl. So they, you know, they blend in nicely. They stuck out a bit because they're kind of like a light grey colour. And I mean, you could only see it when the boot lid was up, but it just looked odd. So I took them off again and resprayed those. That was quick. So that's all done. Then there's this wiper arm. Now, this is the first wiper arm that I finished. And <clears throat> in the previous colour scheme, uh, you know, body was brown, all the accent parts were grey, including the wiper arm. And that was fine uh, to have a grey colour because these collect, you know, a lot of um, dust and, you know, just grime and stuff. So on the grey colour or black colour, you, you can't see it, right? But on the white colour, just like the front grille, all these little holes and stuff, you know, there's a lot of little pieces here. It's going to be really hard to keep clean if it was white. So <clears throat> I 
I changed my mind and I sprayed it with that same blue colour. Uh, so you can see there's, again, there's the minor colour difference between the body and the wiper arm. But it works. Um, it looks quite good. And you know, it, it blends in quite nicely. So I'm keeping the blue and I'm going to do the front two blue as well. <coughs> um, all that remains now for the for the boot is got to just pop the rear light clusters back in. That's quick, and I've got to finish off that mirror, which I just got to respray the uh, parking mirror, and then fit that. Uh, that's easy. It's just like three bolts, um, and then this side is completely done. Oh, apart from the wing mirror, so um, wing mirrors need a little bit of work. So I've got to fit the wing mirror and then put this last piece of trim on. Uh, this is going to stay black, this last piece of trim. So, very little work left now on this side. <coughs> driver's, uh, driver's side has a tiny little bit more. Um, again, I've got to do the mirror. I've got to do the handle. There's only one handle on this side because there's no back door here. And I have to do the running strip that goes along the top of here. So one, two... Uh, three pieces on this side, one piece on that side. Um, this is the uh, aerial for the radio. This comes up. I never actually used this at all, but I can't take it off. I, I wish I wish I could, but there's a hole there, so I've got to have it. Um, again, on the old car, body was brown, and this was one of the accent parts, which was grey. But the old colour scheme, the brown and the grey were very close, so they blended in quite well together. Um, but the new colour scheme, the white and the blue, are significantly different. It's, you know, it's, it's a contrasting scheme. So when I fitted this piece and it was white, um, I'm in the garage so I can't get like a full front view of the car. Uh, it just, it looks odd. Just that one little bit of being white just stuck out too much. Um, if there was one on the other side as well, then it might have worked, but it just looked a bit weird. So I took it off again. And again, I sprayed it with that same blue automotive paint, uh, you know, the rattle can. Um, and it looks much better. It blends in you know, with the scheme now. So I'm leaving that one blue, the rear wiper blue, and then these two wiper arms here uh, will also be blue. <coughs> and that's about it. There's not much left to do now. Um, uh, one weekend, I think, just to finish off the mirrors, fit these last few pieces of trim, rear lights, um, that's about it. <clears throat>